Hello, I am Willis and welcome to year 3 of Cricklane. I would like to thank you all for the huge support on the two last videos, it's, uh, it's really amazing. Now we start with Luckstar. Uh, once again, Luckstar didn't do much. He does a fine job as a hunter and a fighter, but he doesn't do much as a leader. <laughs> He's now 16 moons old. Um, this year was difficult from for Primrose Nose. Um, current Feather, his mate, was taken away by humans. Uh, we still don't know if Current Feather is dead or not. Uh, I do hope he will come back. But there was still um, a vigil that was hold for him. Uh, Primrose Nose tried to keep himself occupied as much as possible, so he would not have any time to think about Current Feather's disappearance. Um, he also has a new apprentice, Hair Pao, who ended up having an accident while in patrol. Uh, Primrose Nose feels incredibly guilty for said accident. Um, poor Primrose Nose really just needs a break. Bureau Mark came out as non binary. They are 125 moons now, and I think they will soon retire. Uh, lately, they added petals to their pelt, which I think is very cute. Um, they are slowly easing themselves into becoming an elder. However, they started forgetting several warriors' names, uh, including both dead and alive ones. Uh, and they also keep forgetting which herbs to use, which is a bit worrying. Um, now for the bad news, uh, Morshazen died. I, I am genuinely really sad he died. Uh, he froze to death during a snowstorm. I don't know what happened because um, he was extremely smart and it's very unlikely he just went outside in a snowstorm. Uh, I'm a bit worried he might have been lured outside and killed by someone. Morshazem is sadly not our only death this year as Maple No also lost her life due to a claw round. I don't know what happened or who could have done that because she didn't even got harmed while on patrol. Uh, then we get Mr. Wiggle Bottom Spots. Um, she is an icon. She exchanged shelter against her healing capacities. She really came at a great time uh, as Green Cough was once again striking the clan. Uh, we welcomed her and our dumb leader decided to name her Mr. Wiggle Bottom Spot. Apricot Leopard was one of our newest additions. He was uh, once a medicine cat in another clan. We found him distressed with his kittens, body kits, dark kit, flash kit, and honey kit. We accepted him in the clan where he became a medicine cat. He's really good at his job and trying his best. Uh, he's calm and very smart and doesn't let it appear when he's struggling, but the, the death of one of his kits. Uh, flash kit seems to really have shocked him. Uh, Mousefoot, or medicine cat, is deeply saddened about Morshazem's death. Uh, he's been grieving for a long time. Um, once M Moonfruit and Bromark retire, Mousefoot will become the lead medicine cat. Um, Mousefoot really hoped uh, he could have shared this job with Morshazem. Uh, as brothers, they were very close to each other. Mousefoot feels guilty he could not save his brother. There was also Maple Null who died from a claw wound and then a young kid, um, Flash Kid, who died due to kitten cough and of course this didn't ease Mousefoot's mind. Mousefoot is now always looking around for any omens to prevent someone's death. Uh, lately he found a snake in the camp and threw it away before it could bite anyone and he's now sure that it is some kind of a omen and that a terrible fate is waiting for someone in the clan. Uh, I don't I don't know, maybe it's just Mousefoot's way of expressing his grief, but his clanmates are kind of worried for him. Tripao is a new medicine cat apprentice. She is um, 14 moons old. Uh, she couldn't train for a long time as she suffered with green cough and was uh, often sick. Uh, she, she's now back to training and is eager to gain her full name. I, I noticed she just really loves organizing the herbs in the den, which is quite cute. Wood Earth is now 28 moons. Um, he is a good cat and does a great job as a mediator. He still doesn't have any big friendship with anyone, which is kind of strange for a mediator. 
Sunstrip has a little crush going on for Thistle's period. They went fishing together at the beginning of the year and bonded quite a bit. Um, she had her first apprentice, uh, Whimsy Whisker. She's not really good at teaching, I must say. She keeps going to the medicine den, I assume, to see how Thistle's period is going. Sunstrip uh, is a very fun character because she just develops crushes really easily. Her sister, Dazzle Blotch, is still one of my favorite cats. She's very random and does strange things despite her traits being charismatic and extremely smart. I like to wet on her as neurodivergent. And Frog Kit is now Froglip. His name was suggested by Kendra Corbridge. I hope I said that well. He is adventurous and a great hunter. Um, he is Shripao and Ice Ridge's brother. He is very close to both of his siblings. He seems to have a small crush on Mousewood, which is adorable. I can only hope for this crush to become a Russian ship because Mousefoot definitely deserves to feel loved right now. So, Jung Woodgate decided to become a mediator. They also came out as non-binary. They are currently doing a great job and are still very much loved by the clan. They also started a relationship with Whimsy Whisker, which is uh, just really cute. They just keep spending time together, they sneak out uh, of the camp at night. Uh, they sneak into each other's nest. They are just adorable. Um, however, Woodgate is sick right now and I'm uh, very scared for them. And I really hope they, they can go through the, dis the disease. Uh, Whimsy Whisker on the other end is uh, calm and a good hunter thanks to his mental offense tribe. Uh, Whimsy Whisker developed a crush on Woodgate when they were apprentices and Whimsy Whisker only acted on it as an adult. So he was the one who asked to become mates. Ligon Pelt is still very much in love with Moonfruit. Uh, she, didn't do, she didn't do much this year. She is slowly making more friends. Uh, she is already 118 moons old. Um, she might soon retire and she just really deserves it. Copper Freco is an hotel loner who was found at the beginning of the year, uh, struggling with the three kits, Glow Kit, Tulip Kit and Air Kit. He's now a warrior and He's doing an overall good job. Um, he's shameless and a great speaker, and being shameless, he had no problem to curse at Primrose for letting his son um, Hairpow get hurt. Ragged Fur is still doing good. He's still sneaky, but uh, he's still an adorable little guy despite that. Um, he's now mate with Luxstar. Their relationship grows stronger with time, and they're very cute. This year, however, was um, just really awful for Fithel Spirit. First, he was beaten by a snake on uh, the very first moon of the year, but thankfully he survived. Uh, he was sick for moons and soon he, he developed Red Cough. Um, he had had Red Cough for six moons now and I'm, I'm just very worried for him. I, honestly, I don't think he will make it. Uh, Mousewood is extremely worried for him currently because uh, he is his adoptive father. Shrupachi is another new addition to the clan. She was found birthing a letter in the middle of the territory. Uh, we brought her to the clan to assist. Uh, she is an ostracized warrior and won't tell us why she was banned. She is also bloodthirsty and a great speaker, which is a very scary combo. Uh, everyone was quite worried of her when she came around and were suspecting her for killing more Shazum. Uh, however, Shrupash turned out to be quite friendly, which is a bit sus. Um, she, was unable to have, she, she was not able to have heard Morshazum as she was found bursting a letter right after Morshazum's death. Uh, she could not have fought him in such a state. The kids she burned to camp went through apprenticeship and are now, now, bleh, and are now Fluffpatch, Whistlepow and Rainbow. Cloudspot is currently sick. Um, she was stuck in a tree for hours with Shrewpatch, and while the both of them talk to each other, they realized how much they had in common. Since then, they keep flirting with, with each other, and I just really hope they become mates. I don't know why all of my, my couples are uh, gay at the moment, because in my other runs, I had a lot of couples who were, um, you know, heterosexual, but right now they are all. They were gay, and uh, you know what? Why not? That could. Let's go. Charville is feeling better. This year was fine for him. He's bold and a fantastic teacher, and he finally had his first apprentice, um, Whistlepow. He's be becoming close to Rugged Fur and Lockstar, which is uh, really cute. 
We now come to Corbureau. Corbureau misbehaved. Um, he came back to the clan with a litter of three kids and refused to tell anyone where he found them. There very obviously is, uh, even if he pretends he just found them and he just wants to adopt them. His kids were Apple Kid, Toad Kid and Miss Kid. Uh, the babies are now Apple Pal, Toad Pal and Miss Pal. Um, Toad Pal is very obviously his kid, she is very similar to him. She is an 11 moon old careful cat and she is training to be a warrior. Miss Pao is our new mediator apprentice. She is Kobiro's daughter. Uh, she currently has a sprain but she is doing good. She is very motivated and she just really wants to um, help the clan and stop conflict with uh, other clans. Hapo Pao is Kobiro's son and Miss Pao and Topa's brother. He's fierce and with a mentor like True Patch, I don't think he will turn out good. Um, he's friendly with everyone around him at the moment. I I hope it stays this way. Ghoul Pilt. Um, you have a lot of things to say about him. Uh, he got his first apprentice, Young Fluff Pao, now Fluff Patch. Like her sibling, uh, Fluff Patch was sick with Green Calf at some point. However, Gold Pelt made her train harder to compensate all the time she was sick. She ended up having her full name at 11 moons. She is an ambitious cat thanks to Gold Pelt's influence. Um, they, kept, they, they keep spending their time together and I don't like the influence Gold Pelt has on her. I think Fluffpatch Fluff has a bit of a crush on her mentor. Uh, also, a lot of cats have been complaining about Gold Pelt not being considerate. I wonder if Gold Pelt had anything to do with more shots and death. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't really friends, but I can't think of any reason for Gold Pelt to kill Morshazum. I, I, I know Morshazum was having a lot of visions from Starkland and maybe yet some about Gold Pelt. Stonefluff is sick with Gilakov. I am very worried about him. Uh, I hope he will make it. Uh, on top of Gilakov, Stonefluff um, also had one of his four paws removed due to injury because of a tulip trap. Uh, it's even worse because Don't Love and Jasmine Bush had a kit lately. A little spider kit! A little daydreamer! Jasmine Bush is of course very worried. Um, he's been adorable lately. He spent um, a lot of time with the kids in the nursery, so I think he's been thinking about kids for a while. Uh, right now he, he keeps spending his time with a spider kit to distract her from Stone Fluff's condition. Ice Kit is now High Shred. Uh, he is Frog Leap and Tree Power's brother. His mentor was Stone Fluff, who made him a fierce warrior. Um, he is now bothing around the apprentices, but it doesn't work well. <laughs> he is slowly opening up to the other cats. Uh, he is still very attached to his brother and sister. Weasel Pow is a uh, True Patch daughter and Fluff Patch and Rainbow sister. She is strange and seems a bit weak as she keeps getting injured and I am a bit worried for her. Rainbow is True Patch's daughter and Fluff Patch and Weasel Pow's sister. She keeps trying to find ways to sneak out of camp. Uh, who knows why? She is strange and odd, but I, I like her this way. Glow Munch is Copper Freckle's daughter and Hair Pow and Tulip Pow's sister. She is um, constantly covered in herbs. Uh, she has a good relationship with Brule Mark, but except them, uh, she doesn't really have a friend at the moment. She's cold, but I have never seen her actually be cold. Um, sh she's actually quite friendly, mainly with her family. Tulip Pow is Copper Freckle's daughter and Hair Pow and Gloomage's sister. She's loyal and she's also Jasmine Bush's first apprentice. Uh, like a lot of apprentices, she was sick with green cough, but she, she's starting to feel better. Hair Pao is Copper Freckle's son. He is Primrose's apprentice. Um, however, he was attacked by a fox four moons ago and has been stuck in the medicine cat's den since then. Um, Primrose Nose feels very guilty for not being able to keep him safe out of camp. Kristoff is now an elder and likes snoring in her nest and buffing younger cats around. She's 151 moons old now. She's still trying to get Bromar's attention, but she seems to struggle. She also bothers Moonfruit a lot, but in a friendly way. Moonfruit should already have retired, but she just keeps 
going, nothing can stop her. Uh, she just struggles to rest and let the clan take care of her. Morphasm's death might have affected her more than she lets it in. Seven is now an elder too, she spends most of her time with Kristoff and they seem to become good friends. And finally, Barakit, Darkit and Unikit are Apricot Leopard's children. Barakit is a daydreamer, Darkit is impulsive and Unikit is insecure. At the time, Darkit is suffering from Yellow Calf and Unikit from Green Calf. Um, Slash Kid, their brother, previously died from Kitten Calf. Apricot Leopard um, keeps working on, in the Medicine Cat. The, in the medicine cat then, he seems to be very worried for his kids even if he just doesn't say it. For the end of the video, I'm going a bit off script so you can catch a glimpse of me um, out of script. Uh, I just wanted to thank you all for the huge support uh, on the, the, the two other videos. Uh, I, I, I'm just... Um, I'm shocked really, I didn't expect it to, to you know, work. Um, because I, I did these videos um, for fun, just for me, and it's just really, it's really just a friend who uh, suggested that I might, I might just post them on my whole YouTube channel, and I'm, j I'm just really shocked that it, it worked. <laughs> um, so I want to thank you all for, um, you know, watching the videos until the end, and and commenting, and even even suggesting names. Uh, it's it's really just uh, adorable and uh, I, I want to thank you all, uh, it really means uh, a lot to me. Uh, I, I read all the comments, even if sometimes I don't really have the, the time to answer to all of them, but I read all the comments and um, I, I just, I'm just i just really shocked by all the support, really, it's, it's amazing. Um, I don't want to thank you all uh, once again. Thank you for watching and uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the video and well, until the next video, goodbye.